greeting family to all of the melanin african people worldwide i hope everyone is handling the virus with a lot of precaution for some of you that doesn't take the coronavirus seriously you may want to rethink again anytime is a biochemical in the air you won't be able to protect yourself as much as you can because you can live without air even if you're using mass which is not the quality mass that will help you to bring in outside air you still need your natural air for example the n95 mask that will be the best one to use so far but since maybe in the past because i did some research i saw there was a previously bio biochemical in the air in the past before but that was before we in the 20th century i noticed the type the mask they were using but how much time how long can you breathe in the same air coming inside your lung and breathe in the same air coming outside your natural air the natural air you're supposed to have perhaps even if you live inside your house you still accumulate air from outside you need at least 10 percent air enable for you to leave your door you still get air from outside even if your door closed windows the insulation that bring in air from the air conditions the insulation that's bringing air when you turn your fan off in the bathroom you still bring in air from outside the reason for that video i noticed many of our people in a deep sleep many of our people doesn't get it they seem to be they carry a bible in the hand the quran the torah the, the tanakh sadly they will ever understand they can understand what the book said that book that was created is a history book that adding pieces by pieces which is what people were doing back then which is all people later on it been adjusted with other folks but it is or history that in that book the main message i have today is for my people that in a church it is time for you to get out of the church which is your pastor never tell you you are the church the place where you go listen to him lying to you is a building it is time for us to think imagine you the virus became seriously two weeks ago i would say yeah this week which is monday that will be two weeks now in the beginning he wasn't that serious or people wasn't panic at that much i noticed most places where people used to go socialize like the bar restaurant any places where you can be close to six feet with other people 
Now you can't do that anymore. In my local town, I notice is all the restaurants are closed. The chair on top of the table. This is the that kind of reality. It is a reality for some of you guys who take it lightly. The question I have, where is your Jesus? Where is your God? That being created for you. That mankind created for you to be worshipped, to be prayed to. And by the way, prayer means begging. Why are you begging a man-made God that was created for you? They call it God. By the way, there is no J in our ancient language, including John. It's a I am. There is no J on it neither. If you able to understand the book is a metaphysic book. The book is a science book. The book is a cosmic book. book. The book it has to do with your own organ, your own body. When I say science, metaphysics, is nothing to do with man-made, modern science you learn in your Western society school. Nature is a life. And our ancestors knows what nature was all about because they were connect with nature. They know how we became human in that earth. They know every living thing on that earth, including the trees, the walk that you think who doesn't talk. And include your Bible even talk about when he say, on Peter I will build my church. And your Bible also coding it's gonna be many disease that come in. You will be quiet for death. Death will not appear to you. If you understand that book, what kind of master, God, what kind of master, so-called Jesus, you will be served that will bring in disease, biochemical welfare, disease warfare, disease in your family and yourself especially if you live in an area you don't have much you don't have one in water because a lot of places in the south when i travel to the south people still living in a simple life up here in new york people kind of living and a higher quality life than most of our people that live in the south forget about the caribbean like where our people is in the continent in africa and it and most of where our people located in the area where our people on mexico trinidad many other place to name a few the purpose i have to what the message to you guys attention today i cannot say to you guys do not panic because it is well today paper toilet become diamond in a store can food flying off the shelf anything that can be conservative in the house is hard to find like pasta Anything that dry that can st stuck for a while. No, I noticed this weekend, including box and bin storage um, supplies that be able to stacking up food, stacking up stuff in case if people need to be leaving the state. By the way, leaving the state. All young people, or young black men, young black women, please think twice. Be prepare yourself. Think about it if you're going to go to that pharmacy if your family is dying because they can get the medication. Think about it before you go stealing in that store. 
think about it before you go fighting in your local supermarket to of a, a of a roll of um, paper toilet believe me the marshals they're ready to be in the street the fire marshal laws they be there to be like you in jail i know so many of us don't think so many of us living and in this earth i don't think you guys be you guys realize the reality that you may face in this planet especially when it comes to people of color young men old men middle age young women please think twice before you're gonna go put in a fight in the supermarket over a load of bread before you're gonna put in a fight in a pharmacy before you're gonna put in a fight in any any retail store because most of the stores are closed and don't pull in a fight with these police when they stop you on the street because i noticed this weekend the company that i work for they passing in paper around if the police stop you in the street to give them this they're gonna ask you where you going so you have to be able to have a proper document don't get agitated don't get upset with them because they're all preparing to be to have martial law in the street and who do you think african who do you think they're going to be attacked the most it's gonna be you you the one who's going to be attacked by knockdown with a gun you the one who's going to be attacked by lock up behind bar believe me they have a plan for you my people the people of color you the one they would like to be disappear in that earth think about it pay attention before you make any stupid move to if you look like there is nothing in the house to eat there is nothing i understand a lot of us don't have money and stack money save a lot of us don't have as much like many other people but you need to learn how to prepare food from scratch you need to prepare to learn how to have to make surviving surviving survival food you need to learn how to packing up your bag for emergency supplies if you need to be travel if you need to leave your house if you need to be somewhere during those emergency time think about it don't take that lightly your pastor is not going to be warning you your pastor scare afraid just like you do because he has a book he's been lying to you for 200 years he don't know what the hell he's talking about that book he's talking about that name he's preaching to you every sunday every saturday or whatever day wednesday you guys worship is the same individual that will create those problems for you it's the same individual that will create the disease for you if these disease come in naturally from the earth why is not affecting the animal why the bird is not affecting falling out the sky you guys on a better ship than the animal you guys on a better ship human being in a better ship than the bird than anything that move why the trees is not affected the tree is breathing breathing just like us as human that's all i have to say think about it there is no Christ. there is no jesus coming to save you when these things appear on this earth it's time for you black people to get out of religions get out of your comfort zone it's time for you to think prepare yourself prepare your family i know all young black women all young black girl black boy they choose not to listen to us they focus listening and high frequency music they focus on watching NBA. They focus on watching all type the garbage that Hollywood put in there for them to keep their mind busy. But I have a message for you, young people. 
you all gonna be caught up in that shit believe me it's coming it is coming and no mankind can stop what's going to be happening on that earth you young black men young black women learn how to be a survival anywhere any place you find yourself learn how to make anything from scratch learn you better learn how to take all type the survival class stop wasting your time listen to music stop wasting your time arguing and fighting your mother your father stop wasting your time fighting with your brother and your sister enough is enough i've been there i have it i see in it is in my home too i have son i have daughter that refuse to listen to me that refuse when you telling them the reality they think i'm crazy i see in it all and then they so stupid when you talking to them they think like okay you can you can kill me or you can take me to the police or whatever but they don't know what plan the police have for you black young women and black young men as a mother sometimes you have tears in your eyes when you tell them when you try to talk to them they think it's a war it's a world war five you pull up with them you you talk for them you screaming anything you say is a problem with degeneration today you get your shit together because you want it out of time our ancestors been calling for a long time now for you to listen but you not listen you too busy in this society you too busy watching atlantic's housewife Atlanta housewife you too busy watching baseball and basketball or whatever the heck they play in, in in Hollywood and sport you too busy but none of them going to come to save you when in time of need none of them gonna come to help you when you want it out of your last dollar none of them gonna come in out to say do you need some medicine none of them gonna come in do you do you have your basic need for survival in the house do you have your supply for a whole month a three months you won't see any of them including your pastor including your rabbi they're not gonna come in to look out for you you need to look out for yourself you live in on that earth among all type of pieces you supposed to learn how to survive for yourself you supposed to learn how to protect yourself you young black you father and mother black men a black woman i'm not talking to a boy i'm not talking to a girl your family will fight you to the end but say what you have to say to them you don't have no regret when they get caught up in the reality don't hold back let them know what ahead to come is up to them because it's gonna come back to them when the reality knocking in the door they will have to face it and then the truth like the bible said like the book the copy whatever's in the book when you are the light you have to shine your light you cannot line up a lamp and put it under a chair the light must be shows you cannot keep it any secret when you know the truth you responsible to tell the truth marcus garvey didn't hold when he was warning us malcolm max didn't hold it when he was when he was warning us dr ben then hold it Professor Clark then hold it. Dr. Phil Valentine then hold it. Chief Yuha don't hold it. Many of our ancient then hold it. They're warning us. For some of you never have a chance to listen to go back. Listen to some of our elders. 
we have many of honest honesty powerful chief that will telling you how to prepare yourself spiritually not the pastor especially those women who are full of energy in front of you try to preach that what's coming in that book they don't even understand it themselves it's time for us to wake up family wake up prepare yourself control your temper control what you said to people and be careful when these fire marshal police pull you off the street believe me they're coming they're prepared they've been trained to strain you they've been trained to kill you in the street when you're out of control because it's normal for people to be panicking when there is nothing to eat when there is nowhere to buy anything you need for your house when you have little children that crying out of formula out of which is they shouldn't be having formula anyway but when you don't have nothing in the house prepare for them that bible they created for you telling you you're going to eat your own children you're going to eat feces you're going there's gonna be disease coming up on that earth you're not gonna be able to skip from what's coming that jesus that create they create that bible on on that individual name is the same individual that creating this problem that's gonna come in for you and you don't have no place to skip if you're not connecting with nature if you're not connecting with your ancestors if you're not connecting if you're not awaken if you're not connecting spiritually you won't be able to see what coming you won't be able to skip for what's coming you won't be able to be free yourself when you continue eating that kind of diet when you continue eating meat when you continue eating the type the food they have in the supermarket for you all is biochemical warfare all is biochemical warfare because if you want to be honest with yourself nowhere in the supermarket you'll be able to find any type of food that doesn't have chemical on it that doesn't have gmo on it be honest with yourself and at last stay away from fast food especially chinese food after what's going on right now i don't have no chinese to be blamed because they're all government working together i don't have nothing to say the chinese doing it no it's not only the, it's not only the chinese that that has planned to work in in this earth for whatever is going on whatever they choose where, where where they're coming up with those names the same with the hurricane they have names for everything think about it we have flu every year in this planet every every year we have flu in the united states every year we have thousands of thousands of people die from the flu every year we take the people been taking the flu shot to protect themselves from the flu even if they know the flu shot doesn't work is a dead chemical they inject in your body it doesn't work but they still take it anyway like i said family that was gonna be a short message you cannot protect yourself you have to breathe even if you're inside your house you're still breathing chemical you and your car you breathe in chemical you and your job you breathe in chemical nowhere you can escape nowhere you can escape any type of biochemical warfare in the air stop wasting your time it might be too late for many of you guys but try the best you can to change the way of you eating, the way of thinking, the way of wasting your time. Argue with family. Some of your family, you got to let them go. Some of them, they will hold you down. You got to let them go.
You cannot let them hold you down. You will not be able to escape with that belly when you have a belly that's filthy with trash. That filthy is like a pipe that clock. Remember, think about it when your bathroom, when your when your toilet get clogged. How much work you have to put in and able to unclog that toilet. Many of our people clock with so much garbage, so much filthiness in the head and the body. Especially the, the, the medication they taken. Yeah. Some of us in a breathing tube, some of us in the oxygen. Tell me how are you going to be able to survive, including young children. I know there was young kids that in hospitals, there was young kids that has to use in a breathing tube. Tell me how you're going to be survive. And tell me how many hospitals are going to be handle you when you let yourself get affected from any type of disease. It doesn't have to be that coronavirus. Any type of disease when the hospital overwhelmed with doctors. The doctors are tired, the nurse are tired, the administration so tired. Now hospital taking turn for people to go to work because if you expose the disease, you can be exposed 14 days, you don't have no idea if you expose, if you affect it. Think about it. And then they don't even have no cure for that disease neither. Think about it. They have they have flu shot for the flu. Even people still get in the shot, the flu. But they don't that that virus they name they coming up they coming up with there is no cure for it. So if they have a cure, they haven't come in with it, and there is no cure in any type of medical, um, uh, modern medical, uh, um, Western society anyway. Because you don't your body wasn't created to take all type of drugs these are man-made drugs it's not for you to be here family i gotta get ready to leave this is the message i have for you guys today young men and young boy young girl think about it when you go to target think about it when you go to any retail store don't try please to snack anything in your pocket in your backpack don't try to go stealing. Don't try to go steal anything anywhere in the store. Don't try to uh, put in a fight with nobody in the store. Everybody a panic, and uh, those who never prepare for what coming on this earth, they are afraid. They panic. Please protect yourself, like always. Be aware the people that are around you. Keep your door locked. Keep your car locked. Because when he get worse, if he's going to get worse, just think about it. If people, is all about surviving. If people need stuff for the house, for the family, if you, if they see you next door, you have supply in your house, they're going to come knock you out with the guns. They're going to take it from you. I was told, and we know that people line up now to buy more guns. And they don't buy the gun to kill up the bird. They buy the gun to defend themselves. And you young men and young women, when you are at age, when all that is over, learn how to use weapon. Learn how to use, learn how to um, get some training. You must learn how to defend yourself. You must learn how to survive. There is no, there is no excuse today. And then my advice, please, many of us now, is waking you guys up what you have to do to survive listen to lens curve listen to uh dr lynch listen to dr phil valentine listen to dr clark listen to dr uh ben listen to go back to marcus garvey malcolm max go back to all of our elders listen to dr sebi all of this information now is in top of your hand, is in your hand. You don't have no excuse now to, to say nobody tell you, nobody warning you. Or elders didn't have the technology then to warn in you. They don't have to be mashing, they all mashing in the street. They don't have to be in a hall to speak anymore. If they feel like it, they can today. 
but nowadays you have all the tools you need to get any type of information you need worldwide stop making excuses for yourself it's time for you to know the reality to face the reality it's time for you to train your children even they not listen but when they get caught up in that mess they will think about it. they will know there was a crazy mother a crazy father that was warning me or a crazy family member that told me so so he will come back to them that's all i'm saying family you don't have to love them they don't have to love you because many of them they live in in that reality they don't get it they will not get it please do not allow them to attack you when you're telling them the truth they will attack you and i'm one of them when i won in my family i've been called altered the name i've been um i don't have to go in detail i'm just saying many of us that awaken that conscious we will get attacked by your own family um but continue spread the message as much as you can so you know you did your part you need your job think about it keep moving we have work to do if 20 percent of us get it or 30 percent of us get it so hopefully the rest will be followed if it's not too late thank you for your time please when i post that video share with your friends share with your family send your feedback when you have a chance and thank you for your time be safe be well now is the time to eat healthy is the time to change your diet is the time to stay away from any biochemical welfare such fake nail fake hair anything to do with fake anything that has chemical on it because you breathe in your body you breathe in your pores try to stay away for as much as bio biochemical as much as you can the food the water you drink you have to change the way the top the water you drink there is your um a perfect water i mean nothing is perfect anything that made here it has some adjective on it but there is an alkaline water listen to dr king if you follow lens curve you can find dr king and there was many of information he shared with us when he get those information you can follow him describe on his channel this blood is real and many of our blood is real they're here to help you guys to make it follow them describe in their channel and you can learn so much that's all i have to say and take care of yourself stay away from the church this weekend it's been three weeks now nobody can be going to that church think about it where is your god where is the man made god where is the man made jesus you've been follow think about it nobody can be faced to be six foot one to six foot next to each other just think about it what kind of master jesus is that who's not there to protect you even if you guys were sitting on top of each other so this is the time now to turn around connect with your ancestor connect with nature learn who you are you cannot move on if you don't know your history you will not be able to know yourself to to help somebody else if you don't know yourself even you're gonna be cursing by your family member but don't stop you have work to do there was no god no Jesus coming for you. Get the hell out in the church. Get to know yourself. Learn who you are.